A calculated question is a question type that, that I use quite a bit if I want to create a, a number of questions that get at the same idea or give the students a chance to practice a similar skill. Uh, it allows you to create as, basically as many questions as you want of a particular item. So let's take a look at how we can create those. Once again, I'm going to be in the question bank. Uh, from the administrative block of our home screen there and I want to select when it says create a new question I want to select calculated once I do that it will bring up a question place where I can do my editing of that calculated question I have one entered here that we can work with um, and, and I'll just kind of talk my way through in terms of what I'm doing so first of all I'm going to name that with an appropriate name make sure it's in the correct category and so in this particular question what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find have students find the slope of a line uh, if they're given that line in the form ax plus by equals c so the question that I'm asking is here and you'll notice that I've included express your answer as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundredths one of the things that that with calculated questions is that our answers really have to be numbers therefore uh, when we do calculated questions uh, we have to they they can't enter something like one half one divided by two uh, because uh, you're you can't create that in in terms of your answers so if I have ax plus by equals c here you'll notice that the a and the b are in brackets and the reason why those are in brackets is because what what Moodle is going to do is it's going to understand those as being variables and we're going to create separate data sets for those where Moodle will then um, randomly select values from that data set okay so a and b really are going to be numbers that Moodle will put in for us okay now in the answer section uh, of our of this type of question is where things are a little bit different because what we have to do is we have to put in a formula or a correct answer formula uh, to for, so Moodle knows how to calculate that correct answer or what we want so in this case if I'm going to find the correct answer it's going to be the opposite of a divided by b now you'll notice how I put a and b in brackets again that's so that Moodle knows that I'm referring to those as being the variables that I had in the question above okay make sure that where it says grade that you include the hundred percent because you want full credit for that tolerance is basically alright well what level are you what are you expecting students to do so if we're if we're actually rounding to the nearest hundredth um, I can actually have this be 0 .005 and then that will that will correctly grade it to the nearest hundredth um, and then in terms of this tolerance we want it to be nominal because we don't want it to be relative to the size of the numbers we want it to be just nominal to the to the numbers there uh, correct answer should show two decimal places that's that's what I, I expressed in the question and the format would be decimal you can also choose significant figures if you'd like okay uh, you can give feedback for that correct answer like nice job if you'd like um, and then you can add another correct answer formula if you need to you can actually add as many correct answer formulas as you need I, I don't need any more so I'm just gonna leave it as it is Okay. and then if you if you have any units you can also include units and add different levels of units as well this particular question doesn't need any units so I'm just gonna leave that part uh, blank at this point okay once I have everything the way I want it here I'm just gonna click on next page and that will take me to the next page of of information that I need to add there all right, the second page brings us to our data sets and basically what Moodle is doing is it's telling us hey a and it's recognizing a and b as being variables or wild cards and it just says use the same existing private data set this is what I always use so I'm gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and click next page uh, which brings us to those data sets now what I want to do what I want to do is I always want to get yeah, I want to think about the answers that I want and in generally if I if, as I'm thinking about this question I really only want to have a and B be whole numbers so I'm going to make sure that my decimal place is at zero 
and and really it doesn't matter for range of values I can go from maybe negative 10 to 10 might work nice and I, I think I'll do the same thing for B from negative 10 to 10 okay so basically what what we're telling Moodle is that we're going to pick all the the whole numbers are the, the available uh, values that I can pick for A and B are whole numbers between negative 10 and 10 and same with B between negative 10 and 10 okay um, once you do that you might want to just update your data set and you'll notice that um, it will it will take a an example one so in this particular example a is negative 2 B is negative 5 and then the correct answer would be negative um, negative a over B which would be the negative 0 0.40 okay once you're you're happy with the way that's working and, and really double check and make sure that the calculations are working out fine for you then what you can do is you can actually have them um, generate or you can have Moodle generate questions for you so and and you can pick up to a hundred and if you want to do more um, you you can add more later but I, I'm just gonna add let's just say 30 items so it what I can do is I can click add now on this and what it will do is it will automatically generate 30 different items that I can that will be used through Moodle um, as I just scroll through you can see all of them and it will give you what the correct answers that is that it's looking for for each one of those okay so right now after doing that and I, I go ahead and I hit save changes on that what that means is this question although it's written here as one question there are really 30 different questions that are there okay and if I go ahead and if I open that as an example you'll notice that it, here here we have negative one for a and one for B so it's plugging those values in okay and if I want to start again you'll notice that it will regenerate and I can keep doing that and it will continually regenerate values for me Okay, so um, that's how you create a calculated question.